Hello guys and welcome to ILR. As you can see now we're in Monza, Italy, and we're about to start our flying lap with a sloppy exit, but this race was pretty boring, if I'm honest, so I decided to make my first commentary appearance here in ILR 2. So starting our flying lap now on soft, we are breaking on the 150 meter board now into the first chicane, going very wide there. And having to shift down to first gear. Sure shifting our way up into fifth now. And this little king before we break for the second chicane any moment now. We don't really expect to go very high up in those softs, so we're gonna try our best. We're currently three tenths down in the first sector. The current Paul Sitter who is on super soft. So we're doing the two Lesmos now. Pretty pretty good the first one. Coming to the second one now, hitting both apexes, so pretty decent lap so far, opening the DRS, we should enter the top 10 with this one, so as we're now a scar, we obviously regular corner cutting, so yeah, some people are escaping the track limits, let's say, some people didn't, I decided not corner cut, um, but either way, we are Four tenths down, coming to Parabolica now. A very crucial corner to get a good exit. As we come up to the line, what is this gonna be and where is it gonna put us? It's gonna be a 22 2 when it puts us ninth for now. But as you can see, some people going quicker, so we'll skip on to the end of the session. So, as expected, we dropped. I wanna drop one position, which is quite annoying. We, Wanted to go outside the top 10, but that's how it goes sometimes. So we're going to start P10 for the Italian Grand Prix. Let's see how the race goes. Skipping to the race now. Coming to this race, for God's sake, had a 40-point lead in the championship. So this race going to be a damage limitation as we get absolutely smashed by Zadon. Um, yeah, and skipping out to the start of a race 5, red lights for the Italian Grand Prix and get a very good exit compared to the watchman who box down off the start and we're already up into P9 coming to the first corner, we have Tizok right ahead of us we're gonna break, be very cautious into the first corner don't wanna get any damage our teammate I think got sandwiched there and loses some positions but we're up into P8 now as we have Parkway right ahead of us now, coming into the second chicane. All of cars punching up there, right in front of Tezok. And Parkway gets a bit um, touched by Tezok. He makes contact with the um, Force India of Tezok. But there was a Williams off, so we're up into P7. So, a very good start there on the softs. Everyone ahead of us is on super soft so we're looking good now we're right behind parkway oh, we cannot really go for a move here as you can see our straight line speed wasn't the greatest this race compared to the others running three two wings but we're still gonna do um all we can as you can see parkway got a very bad ascari and he got a very bad exit as well following that but we still cannot make a move done we're gonna stick it there side by side with Parkway. Let's see now. Obviously, we know that our straight line speed wasn't great to Parkway as we saw early on that lap. We're entering lap two now. We're currently in P6 side by side with Parkway. Can we get him though? He breaks us on those super softs. We're gonna try the switch back, but it's in contact with Parkway. So we couldn't pass him there either, but we still hang on, get a bit of toe, slipstream, go side by side with him and get into the second chicane. Can we do anything? He breaks very late, defends very well, cannot do any sort of switch back. So we're gonna catch on to lap three where we have DRS now, and he doesn't. So we're gonna ease past him coming into Ascari. So P5, as someone. I believe crashed or pitted either of either of the way. Skipping lap four now. Um, next up was Johnny and we get past him as well as he had damage on his front wing. So easy peasy up into P3. Oh we hit the curb there. 
completely forgot that happened in the race. But yeah, we lost a bit of a couple of positions there. I think the Sausage curves are very deadly, let's say, on that second chicane. But Johnny with a front wing damage doesn't have anything to say. So back up into P4 we went, but a couple of people pitted. And we are up into P2 when the VSC came out, so that definitely helped us a lot. But yeah, the plan was to go um, start on the softs and then go softs again. And then in the end, I want to go mediums as super softs. I didn't really fancy going on the super soft tires as they didn't really last long. But you can see the VSC is still out, so we timed it perfectly, got very lucky. We're only going to lose two positions to DNA Joe and another guy. I don't know who that was, but Tizok pitted as well. He was ahead of us. So DNA Joe pitting now. So we're up into P3 and as Zalen, who was ahead of Tizok for momentarily, uh, pitted. We're back up into P2 and making our final stop now. And yeah, this race was kind of boring after lap 11-ish um, after the VSC came out. Because we got very lucky, which meant we we're in the middle of nowhere basically. Tizok was like 9 seconds ahead of us, and the guy behind Moist Leopard was 8. So, not a bad race. Tizok is not our championship rival, so he can win the race. Well done to him. He had very good pace indeed. But in a home race, in well, Ferrari's home race, going home second, very decent result. I believe we extend our gap in the championship. So, I'd say we leading the championship by 50 points. Um, not quite sure, but yeah, definitely a very good race all around. And skipping to the end, the results now. Let's see. So yeah, can, as you can see, Tizok wins the Italian Grand Prix. We come home second, 13 seconds behind him. Wise Lopo with a penalty comes on third, fourth was Keevan, Parkway was fifth, and Johnny was sixth. Our teammate finishes in seventh. But that's it for today. My first, my first commentary. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. Maybe not the greatest, but yeah, that's all I can do. And I'll see you guys later.